Hi, I'm Josh Oaks with MediaLeaders.com. I want to show you something fun that we're working on here in the office. I have a video setup. I used to be an editor at Disney Studios, so I've got a little bit of a hack on video side. Let me show you my setup, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm editing. Now, do I have a professional high-end editor? No, I used to be one, but uh, editing is probably not the best use of my long-term resources, So, but I still love to do it. So here's my setup real quick. Rode Video Mic Pro, I think it is. I can include a link below this video to this product. This is a just a scrappy little camera that is a Canon Vixia HF R500. Great little high def camera. And the neatest part about these new cameras, and when I started at Disney, we didn't have discs. We only had tapes. Is it runs on one of these little discs? So I shot a Tesla speech last night. A speaker, the speaker was the head designer at Tesla or one of the lead designers and the product managers at the designing the, one of the newest Tesla model vehicles and we videoed it for them. I'm going to edit it and we're going to turn around and give it to them as a complimentary favor and we're gonna blog about it. So let me show you how I edit it. I just wanted to show you this is about three or four hundred dollars. This is a couple hundred dollars uh, this was about $10, and then I've got a $300 tripod. I'll put the link to the tripod. I bought all this on Amazon. I paid full price for it, but I am going to give you the links to it because I really like the setup, and um, it's really neat. All right, so let's go ahead and jump over to my computer screen. My goals are I'm going to show you how to edit the beginning of the video. We're going to add some music. We are going to add a slide at the beginning, remove the uh, delay, and um, add a slide to the end, and then I'll show you how I'm going to upload it to YouTube. This might be a longer video. I truly apologize that it might be a little bit long, but I think you're going to like it. So I'm running over to the other computer screen. I'm going to share with you that, and, and I want you to see that I am using a PC. Whoa, Josh, why are you using a PC? Well, I like PCs because I have to buy PCs for the whole company, and they're much cheaper than Macs. Now, if you're using a Mac, you can use iMovie, but the goal of this video is to teach you how to use Windows Movie Maker, as you can see in the upper left. Step one is you're going to go and dra name your files correctly, put them somewhere. So when I shot this video last night on this, this uh, Canon 500 series camera, I, re I drag them over, I never edit on the little SD card, I drag them over to my video thing, cool, my videos, name things correctly, RKS sessions cross campus, below that I do a few events for them, and once again we're just, we're bloggers and we're helping them create these videos, Tesla design speech July 1st, so I put everything in that, and then I dragged over some graphics that, they, that the venue created, and I grabbed, uh, grabbed over video 1 and video 2. The 500 uh, Canon product will separate the videos into two separate recordings. Every 30 minutes it creates a, a seamless new file and you just drag them together and you never miss any data. It just creates separate files in case something, heaven forbid, ever were to happen. So then the next thing I did is I opened up Movie Maker. I took my file number one and I dragged it in over here. So. I dragged in file number one, and then what happens is when you drag it in, in the bottom left, it starts rendering it. It says, hey, we're making your video files. We are, we are turning your video files into visual little stream, whatever it's called. And it's picking up all the audio and looking at it. You see how the newest version of Movie Maker. Now, if you don't have Movie Maker, here's how you go find it. You go over here, and you go to... Windows Movie Maker, because a lot of people on the PC don't have it. You click on Movie Maker, and it lets you download it for whatever type of device you have. Okay, so that's step one. It doesn't come, it is free, but it doesn't come built in like iMovie might. All right, now next things next, I like to start everything off with a good graphic. Just, just for about five seconds right now, this is seven seconds, so let's just do this for five. And what I do is I take that graphic that I had over here, and I just literally drag it into my, onto, this is so easy to use. Now, I've got two graphics here. You see them both. You just click on where you want and what you want. And it, I could do Tesla Motors Designing Disruptive Innovations, but I think I want to do widescreen because it's just much easier and bigger. And I've got the RKS sessions. These are the people to put it on. Um, and, and it's neat to have this guy in there, but I don't know. Um, I could go screen grab this even more. In fact, it probably wouldn't be bad if I did that. Let me show you just a little trick. We could click, we could right click and go open with, and this is one of my favorite little techniques. You go open with, 
and we could do Snagit Editor. Here's another piece of software that I bought for full price. It's really great. Snagit Editor is a pretty cool little piece of software because it lets you edit. Now, we're supposed to be in video editor mode, Josh. What are you doing? Well, I'm just showing you a little hack. If we wanted to crop this, it's literally this easy. Boom. And then I could go File, Save As. You don't save it as the original. Save As. And we could do Slide Vertical. And let's do Speaker Slide Horizontal. Spending a little bit of too much time with you on this, but now you get it. So we've got Speaker Slide Horizontal. Now you can play around with it. So let me grab that file speaker slide horizontal, drag it to the beginning. A lot of editing is just testing things. So this is a little bit big. The quality isn't that great, but it's kind of cool. This might be the best, to be honest with you, because it's the Tesla product. And, and although people really like this guy, and he's amazing, um, yeah. So what I think I'm going to do, to be honest with you, is because this doesn't Go, this goes all the way to the edge. Javier, director of product design and Tesla Motors, shares what's underneath the hood of innovative company. I think I'm going to get rid of this. I think I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm just going to do that. But I just want to show you how I might do that. You click on it once. You set it to five seconds if you wish to. You can do all kinds of visual effects here. I'm not going to do any fancy effects. You can do animations. You can actually have this thing fade in at the beginning, which is kind of nice. Click on it, press and fade in. Right. One of the biggest things I want to teach you how to do is to save your project early on and it'll auto save quite often. So let's go over to libraries, videos. Um, I've actually got this under, yeah, I've got this under videos and we have something called RKS Sessions, Tesla Design Speech, and we'll call this um, RKS Tesla Design. The project not the video file. And the project I save every once in a while. Back in the day when video, uh, nonlinear video, you probably haven't heard of the word nonlinear video, but that's what this is. After tapes, they started calling it nonlinear video. You have to save it every once in a while so something doesn't crash. Great, so there's that. Tesla Motors, five mm -hmm. seconds is plenty. And now what I'm going to do is take you down here, and you might not be able to hear all the audio, but I want to show you how to start and end. Now that we have our beginning I mean, this is great, and Dan does a wonderful job of speaking in the beginning, and then they have the CEO of RKS Sessions. Awesome. Notice how I'm just scrolling down using my mouse, and I click somewhere. Now, here's our lead speaker you can see over here to the left. And what I might do is actually make that a little bit smaller. Um, so we have this gentleman, and notice how I set up the camera to be in front of the car. That's pretty cool. But we have this gentleman that is the CEO of this, and I'm going to just jump through and find as he introduces the speaker. Let's, okay, so let's do this. Introduce Javier is what he says. There's a lot of applause. It could be really cool to bring that up. I think I'm just going to cut right into him. My name is Javier. Okay, so that's you see right here how hard to see on my screen but do you see how the audio goes down and now we don't have any applause I'm gonna right click right on that and set set start point did you see that set start point so now if I were then to take this and go to over to an animation um, let's go over to an animation and this is my favorite animation this is the crossfade so what I did is I clicked up on animations I clicked on crossfade, uh, I scrolled down, which I'm not a big fan of the fact how they put this down here. You could either drag it or you can just click on it. Now the reason it applied right to the beginning of that one is because I had that clicked on and then I went over to animations and then I applied that. Then what happens is if you click on anim if you click video tools edit, you can uh, edit the fade in audio, which I'll probably do to fast so that if there was any applause in the beginning it slowly fades the audio in. It's hard to see right there, but it does work. And then the animation effect, you can change it to 1.5. I like things to be a 0.5, to be honest with you, because it's fast. And I think the beginning of this one could be one second. Any, if it's too slow, it's just, ugh, people are used to fast stuff. Hello, See it? My name is Javier Vidura. I'm, a I'm a director of product design at, uh, I'm director of product design at Tesla, Tesla Motors. Motors. And I've been here for about three years. 
Now, one of my other goals here that I'm going to walk you guys through on this video is we're going to cut off the beginning, which we just did, check. We're going to add a slide, which we did, just did, check. Then we're going to remove the slide delay and his apology. Here's what happens. He apologizes for the computer not working, and I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go watch it with you and show you how product designer. So let's get it. Now, he pauses. You see this long pause in the audio where he's not talking? So I want to take everything out from here. So let me go ahead and do this. And, and this is when he gets frustrated with the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go split. See this right here? Split. Boom. And now what I can do is that's the end of that good first clip. Now I can watch it. He's a little bit frustrated with the computer. Like, uh, I don't know why it's pausing. Maybe it was something was on. I don't know. I'm drinking water in the background because when I shoot these videos, I get a little thirsty. All right. See how there's this pause? And then he goes, okay. So I'm here to talk about. Now, I'm clicking in the video, and it actually jumps into large sections. You notice how I'm doing that? When I click here, it actually goes to the left of it. But what's important to note is that you can grab it, and you can drag it where you want. And then a little trick on your space bar is use your space bar. Once you click somewhere in here, use your space bar to play it. So I'm using the space bar for those of you that can't see my screen, obviously. So watch this. So I'm here to... Okay, so this is one of the biggest things. And I want to, what I want to do here is take right there and I want to set, set start point. Because basically, let me explain to you what I want to do here. I want to get rid of all this annoying part where he was a little frustrated his computer wasn't working, and let's set that at the start point. Now, you could technically click anywhere here, and it would set where it's at as the start point, but I like to click really darn close to where I was at. Okay, so st set as start point. Boom. All right. So I'm here to talk about, now I could also click edit, it fades in fast. Let's go, let's drag over here and watch this. Great. So let's go ahead and take the fade in and turn it to none because we're already used to the background noise. And then what we could also do is we could do a visual effect and or an animation that is a really fast dissolve. I don't love dissolves, but there's a little bit of a something that happens there. So we could take that and make it a duration of 0.25, drag this over. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully that made sense. What makes us unique. Now another little trick that you have, because I just learned that when he's not talking, that means there's a frustration with the computer. So if I were to click here. Great. So I just want to make sure that all of this looks good and that there's not any areas where he's not talking for long periods of time because that pretty cool. He walks through all the, the technology. Once again, I'm... Okay, watch this. In a regular car. Uh, it's pretty cool. So there's a pause here. You see this? It's a little slow. Yeah, so it's a little slow. All right. all right. So let's go here and let's go split. Ready? Split. Then let's go here to right where... Right where, oops, yeah, so there was a split, I don't know where it went, <laughs> I just lost the split, so we'll just click on this, and we'll see where the end of this clip went, okay, it went right here, okay, it's a little slow, so, okay, it's pretty cool, so let's just get rid of that part, and let's go, set endpoint. Now, I don't know why it throws me back up to the to the beginning of this again, uh, but watch this. Click in here. Uh, available for three passengers and then put two huge pieces of luggage in front of the car where the engine would normally be in a, in a regular car. So, 
We've done, we're, we designed the model. Great. So that looks really nice. So he talked, because we're editing based on his audio and looking at the video, it's much more successful. So here's what we've learned so far. We're editing, we're using audio to figure out what's in the video because it is long form. Now I'm going to send this to somebody and they're going to turn it into a blog post and all that cool stuff, but one of the little tricks, cuts are always better because the mind thinks in cuts, but quick dissolves mm -hmm. can work. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think that works really well. It, too many dissolves and you're really just trying to mess with people and it looks cheesy. So let's just go mm -hmm. find... So let me go ahead and get rid of that slow thing again as well. So let's go ahead and go split one more time. Most speeches wouldn't have this, but for some reason the... We have uh, fabricators, base uh, sculptures. Um, okay, fabricators, base sculptures, and let's go ahead and set this as the end point. So now when you watch it... Uh, fabricators, base uh, sculptures. This some examples. These are some examples. Look how clean that was. I know it's hard to see through Google Hangout and when you're watching this on YouTube because I am using the Google Hangout technology to do this. Uh, but once again, big... Uh, that factory has evolved over time. Okay, so then he gets used to the computer being slow, which is awesome. But we just want to make sure that some of those larger interruptions are taken out. So I'm just kind of doing a quick scan. And I'm doing this with you. Now, this is where the Q&A start, or this is a, uh, let's go look at video number two. Awesome. There's a little bit of a hiccup. I don't, I don't think it's much, actually. That's a little awkward. I think that is actually a problem in my editor. All right, so that's great. We're looking good here, and we're just going to go straight through the end of the video, all the way to the end, and we're going to put something on the end. Here's what we're going to do. Great. And then I pan over to the left to show the car, and everybody literally gravitates towards the car. Cool. And then what I'm going to do right now is actually show off this guy. So... I'm going to take this graphic and I'm going to throw it in there, disruptive. And you can't see this, but I'm going to drag it over here, boom, towards the end. And I think we can slowly go there. We can mark that. Look, at people just gravitate towards this car. It's amazing. They want to get in it quickly. So set the end point. Let's go back down to the end of this thing. And let's go ahead and turn this into uh, dissolve real quick. Once again, quick dissolve. Let's go ahead and now another trick that I have over here is to take and okay so what I also want to do is is clean up the audio just a little bit let me show you another little tiny trick you can go to a website called uh, there's an audio website that I'll put a link to at the bottom of this uh, video and I bought some audio music to put over this so if I were to go into my Dropbox and go into my music files, I actually have an, an audio file that I'm going to put in here called Newground. You can buy these audio files. Uh, once again, I'll put the link below this video. We're going to actually drag the audio in here. Do you see that? We're going to put it over here. Now the weird thing is when you drag it, you're actually telling it where to start it at. So you're not actually moving it like some other more sophisticated programs would. So, um, we have this. So, the applause starts right here. Do you see how on the upper right? So, I'm actually going to take this and move it over here. And I'm going to click on the audio, the music tools, and have it fade in, follow with me in the upper left, fade in slow. And what happens there is, and this is going to fade out slow, this, uh, we're gonna, no, I'm sorry, you need to click on the video and then you need to go to video tools and edit the fade out slow. I almost made a mistake. You don't want to edit the audio at that time and fade out slow because you're clicking on different things. When you click on the audio, you see the music tools up top. When you click on video, you see the video tools and stuff like that. There's a lot more sophisticated stuff we could do. 
we're going to do audio. Now that we're over music tools, we're going to fade out slow as well, which is fine. But you just need to know where you're at and what you're doing. Well, thank you so much, Javier. Thank you, Javier. They say applause, and then, and then the music gently fades in with all this applause. It's really cool. You got some music. This guy wants to get in the car so badly. He's like, oh, my gosh, I need to sit in this car. And then... And then you've got this guy, Designing Disruptive Innovations. Awesome. Very cool. What I'm going to do is click on this video and actually go to Video Tools, turn this from 7 into 10, make it a little bit longer, and notice how it, it fixed it right there. You can't hear this in the background, but I've got more. Uh, so then he's up there, Designing Disruptive Innovations. Awesome. It has the RKS session thing. That's great. Okay, cool. And then let's do one more thing. When we click up here and we do video tools, duration, we are going to click on animations. And we have that on. What I might do here is go insert. Typically, you can insert a black screen, which sends it to black. Let me show you a little trick here. Video tools, edit. You can go to home. You can insert a title usually right here. Let me show you a little trick. If you insert credits or a title, what happens is, see how it threw it in the beginning? I actually don't want it there. I want to throw it over to the end. Now here's the trick. You can take the title and you can delete this little text part right here. Boom. Delete that. And then you turn in the animations and you go down here over to once again, your little cross dissolve, boom. It extends the music over. The length of this is, the length of the actual video, which I'm clicking up here, is seven seconds. So let's go back to the beginning of this and watch this. You've got the car. You've got Tesla motors. The graphic, great, well done, just very clean. It's up there for 10 seconds and eight of it's visible. And then it goes to black, which normally you can't do in this software. But now you can. Because we added a title, we deleted the text, and we kept the background, right? So very simple hack. Let's do the same thing in the beginning, because this music isn't bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Drag it over to where you want it to begin. Let it render. Uh, did it, OK, it went down to the end, because I, probably, I have it in here twice. I didn't want that. I didn't, didn't want that twice. So I'm going to go Control-Z, because I made a mistake. And I'm going to keep the music in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the music in there the same fade in uh, yeah so what I'm gonna do is I made a big mistake I need to click on where I want the music and then I think I can drag it in again over there new ground and I think I can drag it in over there I believe I it may not let me do that normally it does normally it lets me do that and project emphasize uh, and and clip view so I'm you know, I'm really normally very good at this, and it's only when um, default. I don't know what that was. Oh, those are those are intros. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we got a little issue. Not sure why, but it doesn't let me throw it in the beginning. Let's try putting it on that video clip real quick. We learn together, right? Boom. It still wants to throw it way down at the end. Isn't that unique? That's kind of a pain. So let's go ahead and delete that, and let's throw it in the beginning and see if we can throw it in the end next time. Ready? So you've seen me toss it up here, boom, and it wants to throw it way down at the end. Maybe that's, okay, let's go Control-Z. Let's go Control-Z again. Now it throws it in there correctly. I bet you it's because of where my thing is at. If we can't figure this out, we'll just keep moving, and I'll figure it out at a later time. But usually I'm able to toss different, different things in here, boom. Yeah, so it's not letting us do that. So it's very frustrating, and... And it could be just because we're the control Z. Yeah, pretty frustrating when this stuff happens. So maybe if we play it, it'll do it. Maybe if we try the wave file instead of that one. Yeah, once again, it's not working. So this is the first time that's ever happened to me because I've put different audio files in other things. But let's say hypothetically it were able to, to, to go in the beginning. That would be awesome. And and now now I'm quite frankly a little bit frustrated that that the software isn't working the way I want it to, because very rarely ever does editing software 
very rarely is it ever difficult to work on. So once again, fade in, let's do slow. Uh, for the audio, fade out, audio, slow, boom. It all looks really good. Very cool. We could also add this in, um, and you can't, you can't see this, but it's looking really good. Great. I'm really pleased with that. So what we're going to do is, just for fun, we're going to go Control-S. We're going to save this file. Um, I would love to be able to insert uh, animation project view, edit, full view, page full screen, thumbnail size, visual effects, animations, apply to all, add photos and videos. Let's, let's see if we can add something that is from my Dropbox. Let's just go the backwards way of doing it. Music files, new ground audio, videos and photos, all files. Let's see if we can add that. Movie Maker doesn't support the selected file type. And it, it should, it's just, which is really, really uh, odd. So anyways, you get the idea. What we're going to do now, next step is Control S, save it. Let's go save movie and we're going to save it for a high definition display or for the computer. Now what's the difference? High definition dis display is going to give you 1920 by 1080 pixels for the computer is going to give you 850 but that's not that's not um, it's not high quality enough so burning a DVD is cool but it's only 720 so I do high definition display because or you can do recommended for this project it's going to put it 1920 by 1080 so what you could do is go high definition display go into videos save it in the same thing and here's how I save it RKS put it in there Put it in where next to your other files. RKS Tesla Design Speed um, Tesla Design um, edited edit <laughs> edited video for upload. And I call it video for upload so that right before I'm about to upload it, I drag the video file that is edited video for upload. Then you press save and it ends up starting to render it as you can see right here and it's going to take a couple hours so my computer will go to town on this and so on so let's review what we covered we put a graphic at the beginning we set the start points we found some areas we wanted to remove right clicking and, and clicking remove from I'm going to cancel this because I really don't want it right now I want to add some music on after this but we removed uh, those sections that we didn't want so we split it and then we grabbed a new endpoint and it effectively deleted that um, we moved, removed those areas, and then we added a slide to the end. We added some audio. I showed you how to drag the audio, and, and then I also showed you how to use some animations and so on. So a bit of a long video, but thank you so much for watching. You can learn more about us. If you've really enjoyed this, please please take a moment to, uh, to go to MediaLeaders.com if you haven't already. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go to MediaLeaders.com. On the right-hand side, you'll see our newsletter. Join that. We'll invite you to events and videos and boot camps and all kinds of really cool stuff that we have. I'm Josh Oaks. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to see you soon. Keep it light, bright, and polite, as always.